Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how to assemble one of our Kid Club kits. This is going to be the pipe cleaner um, sheep with the, the roving around it. He is super cute. My kids love playing with these. You could add a little bell to this too. It would be really cute. I couldn't find any small bells that, um, that look nice. Um, so I didn't add one to mine, but all right. So in the kit, it's going to come with all of this. We've got um, our long pipe cleaner. We've got a ribbon. I'm just going to hold that down with a rock because we're outside. We've got three pipe cleaners about the same size. It's going to be the body and the legs. And then this is going to make up the ears and it's going to make up the face. So I'll go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and grab this one here and start making the body. All right, so you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and just pull this part down. And there we have a tail, okay? And then about, about here, we're gonna pull up. All right, and then I make this shape here. All right, now I'm gonna take this part and I'm gonna curve it up. Okay. So it's just kind of meeting where I put it up here, that bend. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a, whoops, give it a couple of twists. Okay. I kinda wanna keep that circular shape here. All right, so now this is the shape that we have. We'll go ahead and shape the body. Um, gonna, right here at the tail, I'll push this down because I want the legs to go there. So I'll keep the tail down, just adding a little bump there. Curve this up, move that back. So this is the shape we have now. I have the tail, and you can point it more down. It doesn't really matter. Um, this is where a little divot for the legs are gonna go. The back, a divot for the legs, and this is gonna be the head. So now I'm gonna go ahead and start on the legs. Set that down. And these two pipe cleaners that were the same size as the body, we're gonna use these. I'm gonna take the ends, I'm gonna meet them in the middle. Okay? And I'm just gonna flatten that out. Flatten that out. And I'm just gonna turn that into a V. Make sure it's kinda sitting even. I'm gonna do that again. So take the end, take the end, put them in the middle. Okay? Make sure you're about the middle. Squish it down, squish it down, turn it into a V. So now we have two of them. And we'll go ahead and shape this into a U instead around my thumb. So I'm just gonna put my thumb right in here and shape it around my thumb. There we go, we've got a U. Same thing with this one. And we have a U. All right, do one set of legs at a time. Let's go ahead and put them right there in that divot that you made. And now we're gonna grab the long pipe cleaner, okay? And we we'll go ahead and put this pipe cleaner right here in the middle of the back of my sheep. And I'm gonna start twisting and twisting and twisting around the body of my sheep until I get to those legs. Okay. I'm gonna wanna hold those legs in place, make sure that I have the middle on top. This part's kinda awkward, okay? But only for a moment is it awkward. And you are just gonna twist around the legs, okay? Kinda like a figure eight, and then twist around the other side of those legs. 
kind of like a figure eight that you've made. All right, make sure that your legs are even and you're just gonna wrap around, wrap around, wrap around one of the legs, go over, wrap around, wrap around, wrap around the opposite leg, come back up, wrap around that body again. Make sure you, you're, you should be about halfway through that pipe cleaner. And now we have these nice, sturdy legs. Okay, go ahead and put those legs in its place. Let's do that awkward figure eight. Okay, gonna do a couple of those. All right, Let's make sure they're on straight. Wrap that pipe clean around the legs a couple times. Wrap around the legs a couple times until you are out of pipe cleaner. All right, I'm gonna put my thumb back into underneath these legs here. I'm just gonna make sure I shape into a U again. Make it a U again. Now it's a little more like durable where you can actually form the wire and it'll stay. Put that tail back down. It's not a puppy dog. And that'll work. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to cover it with the, the roving. Okay, good enough. All right, now we have these two smaller pieces. The first small piece, go ahead and stick into the, the head here. And just like we do with the legs, we're going to go ahead and um, turn the ends here and meet the middle. Okay. And then I just go ahead and give a little twist. Right, so there we have that. And shape the ears however you want. Right. So that's mine. Now you're gonna take this pipe cleaner and right here you're gonna hold that pipe cleaner down and you're just gonna wrap it around this face. Okay. And that kind of holds these ears in and also um, makes it where you don't see through your sheep's face, you know? Kind of crooked. Let's fix it real quick. <laughs> All right. It's cute. All right, now we're gonna take our roving. And it comes in like a big chunk like this. I have really pretty colors that I'm, I'm sending some of these kids to. Let me show you really quick. My kids say this one looks like um, branch and poppy. This one is a really soft merino. They're all different. Different fibers, different wools. So I'm taking like a really small piece like this. And then I like to start on the face. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick the ear through this and then stick the other ear through it, okay? So I've just kind of stuck my ears through there. And then I'm just gonna do that again, do that again. And then just hold those fibers back there. And this is just playing with it until you like it. Don't get don't get too perfect on it. It's since it's awkward phase right now, you can always go back and fix it up a little bit, brush it up a little bit more. Alright, and I think that face Looks fine, and that's good. I'm just gonna take the, the rest of this and just wrap around there. Okay. Now we take another piece. This, I'm gonna do a little bit thicker. 
the face really needs to be the thin, the thinner of these strips. All right, I'm gonna use this one to wrap around the legs a little bit. It's good. No, no, really. Go a little better. There's another one. Now, I'm wrapping mine all in the same direction. I'm not going back and like a, I'm just going, wrapping around this direction for my sheep. And it's clockwise. So I'm gonna stick with clockwise. So if you start with counterclockwise, you know, stick with counterclockwise. All right. I say that as I do something counterclockwise over here. Oh, coming together! Look at those cute little sheep! Alright. And now you can get fancy with the legs still, or you can go ahead and get to your bigger strip. And I like to start my, my mess right there underneath the sheep. And I like to spread it out, the roving, like this. And I loosely wrap mine. Um, Jace did his really tightly and it looked great. So I don't think it really matters. This is good enough to me. All right, so what you can do from this point is you could take some water, just wet your fingers or just, um, just drip a little bit of water here and smooth this out with some water. It's gonna make it stick. And I didn't include this in the kit kit because it's sharp, but you could use a needle, a tiny little comb, um, a pipe cleaner, like the, the wire part, a safety pen. And once it's wet, this isn't gonna work because mine's not really wet, you can, comb it. Works a little bit dry, but it works a lot better when it's wet. You can comb it into the fibers and that's gonna make these ends, you know, so it doesn't stick back up. It's gonna mush together. So in parts like this, where you kind of see these holes, you would want to wet this and then I didn't comb it around. But my kids are gonna play with this and they're gonna be fine with it right now, how it is. Ooh, see this, this perfect example, this little part here. You'd wanna wet this end. Oops. And then comb it. Comb it around, comb it wherever. Got this little end here. Comb, comb, comb. Okay. There we have our cute little sheep. Go ahead and add our little ribbon. Again, this is not the perfect. Don't think too much on it. And that fur is really going to stick up until you add a little bit of water to it. That's not the best bow. That's okay. Thank you guys so much for watching.